Okay, so this is basically my um, analysis of the new Nether React call that's going to be added in 0.5.0. So Jay Bernhardson basically live streamed this um, video that I'm analysing, and he shows us how to craft it. And it uses six iron and three diamonds to craft it, and I believe it's going to be in this kind of crafting pattern. So um, three at the top, three in the middle, and three at the bottom. And then he's also we also need um, four gold blocks to create the structure around the actual Nether reactor so that's actually 36 gold ingots which is quite crazy how if you had a big mine that'd be quite cool but i like how it's end game so then if we just start it off um we can see that basically glowstone is actually in the in the inventory um the crafting inventory so i believe it's going to be using four glowstone dust and i believe it should be able to be crafted without a crafting bench um like in the pc version yeah so i think that's quite cool and you can also see the nether reactor below it um, and then we're also going to watch the dev derp around a bit while looking for the gold block. Yeah, he derps around. And then he finally found, finds it in the end, there it is. So then basically, we also see that the sheet has moved from above the um, thingamajig to above it to actually the top of the screen. So I think this is because um, it was your fingers were in the way of it sometimes if you're using the D-pad. So I think that's quite a good change. Hopefully, we'll be able to customise where it is. And then in this chest, we can see there's a new item, and it's sort of the two. I believe that's lava. However, it, it could be something like Invisible Bedrock or something. And I think we should just ignore this, as he probably hacked it in to test around with lava for a new update in the future. So I think that's what he's basically doing with it. Um, I don't, I'm not certain or not, but just like go with that, I guess. So then if we just carry on, he's going to get us some iron to actually build the reactor. So then we're going to skip here to watch him build the reactor. And the nether reactor, it, it doesn't... We, if he actually clicks it, it doesn't really have much of a description. It's basically the core of the nether reactor. But um, I like the crafting recipe for it. I think that's quite cool. So then he finally crafts it and then we're just going to go through. We also see mushroom spread here and it's really noticeable. I think the spawn rate or the grow rate or the spread rate was way too high for this. So I think he probably nerfed it and he did say in the video that it was corrupt. So hopefully he did do that. We also see this new little basically item description or item naming and it's when you change an item this is brand new and this looks quite cool but i think it's going to get a bit annoying so i hope there's an option to to turn it off but um this is basically because in pc we could hover over items to see their names so this will hopefully help people who are new to the game learn what they are i guess so if we just carry on now this is him building the actual reactor so he uses four gold um blocks which is quite crazy he did mess up right then so if we just switch to his diamond pickaxe, as it says. So it's quite crazy to actually use, basically. I think it's going to be pretty insane. Except um, it does give some end game like objectives to the actual game. So I think that is quite cool. And then he um, he sort of like stops a bit. And he just looks at the screen for a few minutes. But then I, I skip some of that out. And then he uses um, cobblestone to build the actual frame around the reactor. I'm not sure if you're able to use a different item. But I think cobblestone looks cool with it. It used to be iron blocks, which I thought was pretty extreme, so thankfully he changed it. So now he's going to put down the reactor, and as you can see, you put it in the middle, um, and then you put the cobblestone on the gold blocks around it, like so. So I think this is quite a cool, basically, frame, and it's, it's, it's much more different to PC. So this is sort of PE exclusive, which is quite cool. Then he clicks it, and it says not the correct pattern. That's because the frame wasn't in the right area around it. So I think it's quite, like, it's amazing how he's done it. So this also shows that you don't have to like hit it with a certain block to activate it, you just punch it basically. So then he um, gets out his sword ready to punch it, and it's going to be quite shocking if you haven't seen this before, because it's quite an, a, a, like, I was not expecting this. So he punches it and it says active client messages, so I think we're going to see a few more of those. And then the blocks sort of, they, they spread into this weird kind of new block, and it gives out redstone-like effects. So then all the zombie pigmen spawn, and they finally notice him. And they go around attacking him. And this block actually made me a bit confused. It looks like Invisible Bedrock. Because that's what Invisible Bedrock looks like if you mind it. However, I do actually believe it's a painting. Just if you did see it. It is definitely not like an um, actual block. Because it's not in a square. It's not in a cube even. It's a square. So I think that's a painting just in case anybody's wondering. So it drops certain um, items such as cactus. The new glowstone. And it drops different items that you can't actually get normally in certain seeds. It also drops sugarcane. So that's really the end of this video. I will probably put out an update video in the next one, and basically it creates this huge obelisk in the actual world, so it's a bit of a grief thing, and it makes it out of um, obsidian, and I believe when you die, um, the actual nether reactor stops working, or there might be a timer on it, so 
I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But thank you for watching this video. Please give it a like, subscribe, favorite, whatever you guys do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon, I guess. So thank you and goodbye.